Well, all you controller players out there are definitely not going to like this one. But I wanted to come here and formally forewarn you before something happens and you're taken by surprise. Obviously, in today's video, we're going to be discussing some controller controversies as well as a brand new collection event that releases tomorrow. Hope you guys are all well and having a great day. As you can tell, my voice has not come back, but I feel amazing and I am able to talk a little bit more loosely without my voice cracking every three seconds. So plenty of topics to discuss today. This video actually might end up being a little bit longer, but that's okay because we actually have stuff to talk about. Don't forget, we're giving away the see your heirloom all you guys got to do is like subscribe and comment down below this is only opened up for the youtube videos not my live streams so one of the first topics that i want to discuss i thought this was really interesting so this was actually coming from an apex legends developer and i guess this kind of explains why we've had decisions in the past where we really wanted apex to kind of just like hot fix this or just change this really quick make an update on this really quick why didn't you guys just go with this route instead but definitely thought it was pretty interesting coming from an apex legends developer and explaining how this stuff works so someone made like a mock-up they basically made like a how i wish it was and so this game had like a brand new ui brand new menus all new mock-ups of how skins worked and what your character would look like and customization settings and it looked pretty good within an apex legends developer came out and said no doubt this does look great but the problem is that these pretty smoke effects and mirror results in players assuming that the barrier between the quality of games we do have versus what we could have is a matter of just making different choices basically saying one of the bigger problems in gaming right now is the fact that players just think that oh hey Apex should have done this. Why didn't they just choose this route? And oftentimes we think it's just as simple as making a different decision, but they're saying here, it's not that simple. Obviously, if we could, we would. Because I've always been one who like really advocated for having in-game tournaments, having like an in-game leaderboard. And I guess it makes more sense now that it's not just like, oh, let's just take the leaderboard so everybody can see it. I guess actually making the code and making it functional is a little bit easier said than done. Now, here's where things get interesting in the video. This is the topic that I really want to discuss in today's video regarding controller and specifically the controversy that's currently going on behind it a couple really big creators jumped in and all of this and so i want to discuss it first off this was a viral tweet coming from inhuman 3,400 likes on this tweet a lot of people got behind this you guys might know him with the whole design full you know twitch con fighting scenario and the controversy that went on there but this was basically saying apex controller kids were like quote if aim assist is so op then you guys just need to switch a bunch of pros did switch though and now those dudes have just become completely dead silent what's one of the teams he's talking about well well, obviously tsm made the switch from imperial how playing mouse and keyboard over to controller and they have been dominating even placing first in the north american pro league for the split one to go to playoffs now on the flip side though controller players will definitely argue the fact that imperial how has played controller before he's got plenty of experience on controller so it's not like this guy with no experience just went from mouse and keyboard over to controller and started frying that is definitely true and it's definitely noteworthy but it obviously also is noteworthy as well but they're now frying arguably even better than before now imperial how actually did have something to say about all of this but before we jump into that i would kind of want to show you what nikoko puff said if you guys did not see nikoko puffs actually did retire i talked about this on my algs pro channel if you guys want to see all things apex esports stuff you know you can go obviously check that stuff out and the coco said he's not playing apex esports anymore he's done he's still playing apex just kind of going to focus on ranked he said this is the hot take but aim assist is slowly ruining the game for me as a mouse and keyboard player just dying ridiculously fast in the close range just feels super inorganic i understand controller is hard af with a movement and long range but mastering those makes mouse and keyboard feel like meh so i feel like it's gone from in the past just kind of being like you you know hey you know i don't really like control i think it needs a nerf i think amos says needs a little bit of a nerf to like just straight up now they're just saying look controller is ruining the game for me as a mouse and keyboard player even nine impulse though saying that they are not dead silent they're still talking but they're still saying if it's op why is not everyone playing on it whenever in reality obviously a lot of people have switched and they're doing much better so not only are they obviously kind of bashing on the whole aim assist conversation but they also seem to be switching getting good results as a means as a way to kind of say look it does need to be nerfed there's proof in the pudding it definitely needs to be changed told you guys in imperial how had something to say with their recent success this is what he had to say on stream they even went as far to say that they need to start maybe banning sensitivities with his teammates that he was playing with imperial how disagreed take a look at this clip it's boring bro like just when you when you play mouse and key and you feel like you just get like cheated on like you don't even have you not, not even that like you literally feel like you couldn't do anything better to like buy a controller player and you still lose like man, when i was playing mouse and key bro there's just so many times i just like fought a controller player and i was like even if i played like perfect there i was dead i feel like aim assist literally wasn't even op until like the meta just completely favored it like in every way like, yeah there's no I feel more like shotguns 
I feel like I'm shot yeah. down there. If there's no no, no more there. Gibby or like there's no more Gibby. So like Mouse Key, like Mouse Key was way better in like Gibby bubble fights, and like Gibby Gibby's out of meta. But uh, me personally, indeed, I think that controllers should definitely be nerfed, like either to point three or yeah, just literally ban four three. I'm I'm gonna go look at the kill leader board, bro. I swear four three just needs to be banned. It's definitely the most. Is it overpowered? So how how yeah. is four three? Bo is four three. Verhol is four three. Yanya four three. Enemy Lux is four four. This is just the top ten. And Phony is like six five or something. Handers is four three. Luda Sykes. Bro, you can't Gil. nerf if sensitivity. You just nerf like the aim assist. It's simple. Yeah, I didn't like like why why would you Luda even swap. play mouse and key? Like imagine the meta is literally like just like car scout or like or any type of SMG in it. Sniper, right? And you, yeah, you're gonna run true. into a controller player. How, who's, who's gonna win? It literally controller player every time. Now this was about a five minute conversation that I had to compress down. Obviously, I don't want to make the video too long, but I did want to give you a lot of the snippets of what they had to say. So you've seen some high profiles make their conversations. Now let's take a look at where the developers have been. Now this is a little dated. However, obviously, a lot of times whenever they say we hear you loud and clear or we're gonna make some changes, that usually is a little ways away before that change actually comes. The only recent change that I can remember is when private matches gave you the option now to force console players to come down from 0.6 down to 0.4 so the game designer for apex legends john larson who makes a bunch of nerfs he makes a bunch of buffs he makes a bunch of changes to the game and the way things are balanced out obviously made this tweet about a year ago actually january 7th so literally we just passed the one year mark of when he made this tweet and this was in response to one of pvp's tweets saying that basically aim assist needs to be nerfed John Larson actually said in this twit longer in the category under revisit aim assist tuning. We hear you loud and clear considering we offer different options in this game. It's not awfully surprising that there are gameplay affecting variations between mouse and keyboard and controller in PC lobbies and console in PC lobbies. Anyone who's experimented with different platforms or input types can attest to this. So while I can't make any promises or provide specifics at the moment, I can say we are actively evaluating it. Now I have one specific direction in mind where i personally think this is going if you wanted to ask me what i genuinely think is going to happen here it is what i think should happen is maybe we should turn all the aim assist down to 0 0.3 bring 120 fps and cross progression over here to the consoles what i think is going to happen is that cross progression and 120 fps will come on the console and they will bring it down from 0 0.6 down to 0 0.4 to match the pc lobbies and because the input lag should not be as bad because now the fps is up it should feel a lot better on console you guys know i bought an xbox series x for a video about a year ago and i gotta say honestly with my experience i personally like the controller better on the pc just because how responsive it is i love the input lag being way lower and i really think that the aim assist feels better when you have like a better system and when you have like more fps it feels better altogether the 0 0.6 on console really wasn't that big of a deal to me because of how bad the input lag is so i actually preferred controller on pc at 0 0.4 so i don't really think that 0 0.6 being nerfed down to 0 0.4 is going to be that big of a deal but as far as like the regular aim assist for controller players on pc i don't think it's going to get changed and on one hand i don't really see a problem with that on the other hand i really think it is weird that a lot of pro teams are purposely picking people based upon their input types like it kind of sucks to say like oh you know you're a good player but we don't want you because you're mouse and keyboard or like oh we already got two controller players we're specifically looking for a mouse and keyboard player i guess i shouldn't be too shocked because even in like the mlb you know you have certain pitchers that pitch left-handed or right-handed some is more advantageous for certain batters others not so much so what if the direction that we should go is maybe just changing the meta so that the meta makes more sense to be balanced for controller players and mouse and keyboard rather than just being so control favored maybe you disagree with every bit of that i don't know let me know down in the comments below i'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say i actually saw a conversation between some console players over here on the apex legends post from last month and they said the best present would be 120 fps over on the next gen and then also someone said along with a ranked aim assist nerf and they actually respond and said look if they gave us 120 fps on next gen i wouldn't mind an aim assist nerf at all so let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below don't forget the new patch will be tomorrow with the collection event and we will have a lot of leaks that come out regarding all of that so a lot of information about what is next in apex should be out very soon so make sure to like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as always and i'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves and until next time i'll see you later gators